welcome to part four. Well, we had a um, uh, a day's break in videoing. Um, two reasons: uh, one, to uh, sort out a few problems with uh, the wing assembly, uh, and because uh, Mad Colin was ill. Yeah, I wasn't very well yesterday, guys, but I'm back behind the camera, all ready to serve. <sighs> Sick in the head. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So. Um, construction of the wing has started the first thing you want to do is is build up this um, this boom uh, box assembly um, which then gives you a reference to build everything else off um, we come across a problem with uh, with this which we've uh, we sorted out on this one uh, and I'll show you what the problem is it's to do with the uh, the boom mounting clamps um, here is the former that goes inside that, um, that boom box assembly um, and as you can see the clamp which is underneath here yeah, bearing in mind it won't be that tight it will be even further apart than that when the booms around it yeah, is bigger than the height of the, of the box as you can, I don't know if you can see that there on camera that's about a millimetre um, higher and once the, once the tube is in there it'll go up even higher so um, it, that basically means that you can't put the top and the bottom ply plates on um, because the the clamp is bigger than, than, than the gap you've got so we had to come up the way of um, getting around that and the easy solution uh, for us in the end was to uh, put some grooves into these D4 plates uh, the top and the bottom one uh, to, uh, to recess the, uh, the clamps and as you can see they then sit in there like that yeah. um, and then that gives you enough room to, to get the whole assembly together perfectly uh, when you make these grooves, you want to make sure that the the grooves are the same depth across the two uh, box assemblies. Um, if they're not, then your towel booms are going to be out of line. Yeah. So when you come to make the wing, make up two of these first of all. Get them on the bench. Put the assembly together, and check that the boom once this D box is sitting on the uh, once this box is sitting on the uh, bench is basically flat all the way along so this is parallel to the uh, to the desk here yeah and you want basically you want to do that twice uh, and make sure both booms are exactly parallel it will save you a lot of hassle later on don't go off and just build the wing and then find oh dear um, one booms up, one booms down. Mm. Get them sorted first, uh, and then you've got something flat to build off. Right, we're going to carry on. We're going to build up the second one of these um, these box assemblies, and then uh, start the wing construction proper. Uh, the other thing you've got to do um, is you've got to open up the the hole in these ribs uh, to take the the tube for the wing joiner right I've opened up that one that's still a little bit tight basically if you've got to push it in at all it's too tight mm. yeah it's just got to slot straight in because um, the the wing spar is quite tight in this tube anyway yeah I'm having to put quite a bit of force on that to get it in um, as you can see, there's a lot of force going on there. Uh, it does get easier when it's been in and out a few times. But anything tight around this tube, in other words, the ribs, uh, is going to get this even stiffer. So uh, that hole wants to be as loose as it possibly can without this tube sort of rattling around. Um, so yeah, we've got to do that as well. So you'd have to do that to all the wing spar, also all the wing ribs, uh, that this tube goes into. 
Do you want to sh show the guys um, your lapping device you've come uh, up with? Yes. Well, I ha um, in case you haven't got something that's uh, a, a tool that's the right size, um, we just quickly knocked up a little tool here on a bit of dowel and uh, the, the two bits of sandpaper. Yeah, fitted in in opposite directions. We just put a cut across in the end of the dowel, and then you can. Flap it open out. up your hole, yeah, a little flappy flap thing. Hmm. Um, you know, if you haven't got the tool, you make it, don't you? Yeah, of course you do. We are modellers after all. Yes. So there you go. So uh, we're going to carry on a little bit, uh, get this wing starting to go together, and we'll see if there's any more problems uh, along the way. Probably once we've done the, the second um, boombox uh, assembly, we'll just put them both together and let you see how parallel they are to each other. Uh, yeah, that'll probably be the next thing. So, we've completed the two um, boom boxes um, and they're ready to be built up into the wings. Um, we've got them both here on the bench uh, next to each other and we've basically got them parallel. The boom is running parallel to the, uh, to the work surface there all the way along its length um, on both of them. So these are completely identical. So you're not going to have any weird um, angles and stuff like that when you come to put the uh, the uh, the tailplane on and stuff like that. So yeah, so they're they're completed. Um, we've put on some of the other bits um, of, of ply and stuff that are needed, um, and we'll uh, we'll carry on with building the wing. What a day. <laughs> <laughs> what a day. God, I'm knackered. I don't know about you. <laughs> I'm not knackered. <laughs> it's been, uh, yeah, it's been very taxing on the old brain. So we've uh, we obviously been doing the wing. Um, anybody that started on the wing. <laughs> oh, good yeah. Luck to you. Um, yes, what can we say, really? Not a lot at the moment. Um, as you can see from that uh, that uh, flyby shot of the wing, uh, it is coming together. Um, oh, but the instructions, well, the drawing. Uh, let's say that um, ribs aren't what they say they are, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, but you know we're getting there now. Um, we've basically got the wing generally sort of tacked together. Um, we're building the wing without this central um, boom box um, because if you do that, you can build the whole wing flat hmm. on the uh, on the bench. Whereas if you've got that in there, you can't. No. So we're basically putting everything in that we can, um, but leaving out the bits that allow us to slide this in basically, which is really the bottom uh, longer on, um, on on the front there we're leaving out for the moment. Um, yeah, so as you can see it's coming together. Uh, this is the first one of the two. Um, we'll, this is going to just gonna be a short video. This is like uh, the build 3.5 mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll call this because yeah. once we've cracked how to do the wing successfully then we'll do a bit more detail um, on the second wing. So hopefully that will help you out a bit and you can work out what ribs should go where, uh, which is the fun we had really. So yeah, uh, that's an update for today really. Um, it's Saturday, uh, Saturday evening now actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've foregone flying uh, so we can carry on with this. Uh, and yeah, we'll probably crack on again tomorrow. Mm, yeah, maybe. I will be anyway. Okay. Oh, it might be tripod cam then. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what happens. It's uh, much more reliable because it doesn't eat you out of house and home. <laughs> Oi! I don't eat that much. <laughs> right, well, um, yeah, there you go. It's coming together. What more can we say, really? Mm, excellent. And we'll see you in um, 
part 4.0 <laughs> for, the, uh, for the longer info on building the wing. Yeah. Okay then, guys. Well, uh, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me. Bye-bye.